love it's Amanda welcome back to my channel so <laughs> we are the hubs is about to get in the car but we are about to go it's like it's the start of a vlog there is a really cool Christian publishers outlet in Murfreesboro so we're going to take a drive and see what it's like I'm really excited about it y'all uh, never get to see much Christian fiction like Christian stores bookstores and someone told me about this oh, there's a Facebook group called avid readers of christian fiction and someone let me know about it and i was really excited because i was like that's not very far for me so yeah so i'm excited we're gonna take a drive down there and just kind of see what they have and i'm gonna take y'all along with me so yeah this will just be kind of i don't know how long this will be but either way today is saturday july 23rd and i'm really excited to go check this out so i am bringing love in the dream come true with me i have not started it yet y'all I got this a few days ago and your girl is just been so tied up and hadn't been able to physically read. But I am also listening to our monthly book club pick, uh, Dreams of Savannah. I'm about halfway through, kind of a reading update, halfway through it. I was kind of struggling with it. You know, the wartime jargon sometimes gets me and I like historical, but sometimes that jargon just, I don't know, I just kind of tune out, I guess, when I'm listening. So I should have probably physically been reading it, but I was struggling. The narrator is amazing though, like it's really great southern narrator i love the good the southern vibes i'm getting from this but it's set 1900 civil war and i was just like struggling with some of the details so right now it's probably like a three three and a half for me right now i'm enjoying it enough to continue so yeah it's not bad it's just like you know when you read a book and it's like not, not really something to write home to mama about that's kind of how i feel right now i don't know if you ever heard that saying but i'm enjoying it enough to continue and basically it's like the kind of that story where um two people who are in love they like get he goes off to war don't know if he's alive or dead you're getting two perspectives of him and they're trying her like what's going on on both sides so yeah um there's a lot of discussions too about the slave slavery and the treatment of slaves and i just love luther so much he is just a little sweet bean in my heart everything he's saying i have so many quotes that i've like saved from him so that i can't wait to talk about my full review but yeah, that's kind of what's going on right now. We are heading out and I will update y'all when I have some, whenever we get there.
y'all that store is like dangerous for me that was so much fun y'all i tried to get filming but you know it's like hard in public because they looking at you like what you doing over here with that phone but um y'all your girl she got a couple bags i spent 60 dollars in there why did i say on that video coming out soon if it ain't already out that i wasn't gonna be buying nothing else because <laughs> i lied okay anyway all right so how was it um awesome really cheap Shannon's like, why is this cooking? why is this not where i live that's what i need to know y'all because was it worth it yes <laughs> it was so worth it i was like what is this because <laughs> we do not i had to drive an hour so yes ma'am i mean they had some really i don't even know and I didn't even look at every everything because I didn't want to make y'all wait out here that long. Starving. But Starving. <laughs> I was like, your boy's hungry. They had, oh. they didn't have sunrise though. I got sunburst because I've already read it, but I loved it on one of my shelves. You bought some starburst? What's <laughs> up? <laughs> ah! He thought I said starburst. I starburst. No, the book's name is called Sunburst. I'm glad I got that on film. Film. Video. <laughs> what? Is that fake baby? Is that dog? Like, I don't know. Oh, what's up? We'll it's be like eating. A, I don't know. I'm starving. Yeah, I'm starving what's over too. Here? All right, so I got Sunburst. Y'all already know I read this and I really enjoyed it. Had to have a physical copy. They didn't have Sunrise, unfortunately. But yeah, book three comes out at the end. I think it, or beginning. I don't know. Still time in November, I think. And I'm supposed to be getting that soon in the mail, so I'm excited. I wanted to have that copy. Also got this for like two dollars, and it's a biblical fiction, and it had some good reviews. So it's called King's Shadow by Angela Hunt, and it looks like it's the not a novel of King Herod's court. So got it. Also picked up some calling cobble because they were cheap. So we got Tidewater Inn. I think this is book one, pretty sure. And hold on, where's that other bag? Y'all, looks like this. I'm just I can't show them out. Let's go. Jewel of the Nile, T Tessa Afshar. Miriam really enjoyed this, and that's why I picked it up. And it was only twelve dollars. I mean, you go on Amazon. Come on, these are like fifteen dollars. So also got this calling cobble. It's all yeah, part of good. part of that series. Oh, I'm like piling up over here. And this other one from that series, same thing. $6. I mean, you can't beat that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got one of the Ted Decker books, I think book one in the circle for $4. Oh. Teresa over at Sweet Tea Reads. Girl, she gonna be happy. So, you know, your girl's fired up. I don't even know what I, I like Ted Decker, but we'll see. We'll see. Sorry, the angle is crazy. We moving. All right. Um, it's like 11.45 at night on Saturday, so I ain't showing down my face. But I want to show y'all. Um, I got this mug, too. It's Christmas Eve, and it was like $3, and you girl cannot pass up a cute mug. So, there we go. And I really like, like, this style of mug, like the bigger size. Yeah. Anyway, I got these really just, if I ever send out anything to friends, I want to have bookmarks. That I can send to people, so so my friends might be seeing these if I ever mail them something. But um, I, I love these at Christian bookstores. That's just like isn't that beautiful. I love these bookmarks; they're gorgeous. So I got them, and then I was showing y'all. I've already had this before, but I've got several different Bibles. I know that was a question for my faith um, video, which I haven't filmed yet. But um, this is one of them. I don't use this as my main Bible. I have the ESV as my main Bible that I have been working through, but I think it's nice to have multiple versions. So this is like the NLT, and this is Candace Cameron Beret's, is that how you say her name? Yeah, Beret, I don't know. What Y'all know who I'm talking about. What's cool, what, what's cool is like, she's kind of got some introductions here in the beginning and throughout. And throughout, she's got like, like it's the full Bible NLT version, but throughout she might have a section here that has a section about rest and like more like discussion topics and points. So just things to get you thinking. And I like that. Or like, here's the key verses. 
you know, just, just different things in your study. And I, I really like that. I used this. This really helped me because I was so confused when I got to Proverbs that in my ESV that I, I come in here and this really helped me um, like tremendously understand some more of what Proverbs, just a different version, um, the way it was worded. So, but I did get some Bible tabs from the Dayspring website recently and I love these. And so I just finished having it up. Um, but I had worked in Proverbs, like I said, in this Bible and I just kind of pulled it out. Um, I want to try to like go back to this one for a little bit in some of my studies. So yeah, this is really more like a study, not like a Bible journaling, but um, I highlight, of course, and I make notes. So I did a lot in Proverbs there, and I think I've done some other things in here, but I just don't remember. But in the back, what's cool about this too is there's like three little, it's pretty, you can get these on the Dayspring. They have like a paint cover and something else, but anyway. Um, after the Bible, she has like a lot of different details here. Like character, what does it matter? Questions, things about commitment. Like she's just got all these different things in here at the end in this Bible. So I like that we have that. Growth, guilt. I don't know. She's just kind of got like all the different things in the end. It's like an index, but it has like scriptures about things and questions you might have. Um, like scriptures, how do I grow in patience? And it has this. So, I don't know, it's kind of like a hybrid of devotional plus study plus the full Bible. So, yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to share that with y'all because, um, you know, it's, it's, it's good to have different formats for your Bible, I think. Um, like I like NIV, ESV, NLT. I do have a CSB. I've got so many different Bibles. I'll have to show y'all that in my Facebook video. But yeah, I just want to show y'all that. So, yep. Hey y'all, so I, <laughs> I can't let us keep playing. I want to give y'all an update. I am reading, like I said, Dreams of Savannah. I had mentioned that at the beginning of the video. And I've been listening to it. The narrator is a really great narrator. I can't say enough good things about that. However, this book is just so like, this is our book club pick for the month. But this book is just giving me so many mixed vibes. I don't know what I feel about it. Like, there are parts I like. There are parts that I'm bored. There are characters I love and there are characters I don't love. So, this is like really like that middle of the road for me. I like historical. Yeah, it may be like the first, if not ever, in a long time. And I'm just kind of like overwhelmed all the war of talk. I just feel like this. I, it's weird. I like historical. But I just feel like this is too long maybe that's it like this is 400 392 pages and i think you could cut out a little bit you know and it's kind of like even an outlander there are some outlander books i rated like a three but like book five in outlander was so like i just couldn't deal as the fiery cross is what they called it so much war jargon and like just political intrigue that I couldn't vibe with that I was like skimming through. It took me so, it took me almost a year to read it. I was like, I can't get through this. So I struggle sometimes when it's too long on the war discussions, you know, or the political side. At the same time, I like historical. I don't know, I just, I have this weird um, relationship, I guess, with historical. But I don't love Delia. I don't love our main character. She's just kind of whatever for me. There's nothing special about her, but I love the male characters, so. It's hard, it's a hard book for me to really discuss. I think I'm like at a three, three and a half, which means for me, my rating is like five. I don't even think I've ever said this, but five stars is like, okay, I'm gonna be thinking about it for a really long time. It's like an all time, like I could reread this, it's wonderful. Four stars is like, I enjoyed it enough that I would highly recommend, but there was a few things that just knocked it down for me a little bit, and I might not necessarily reread it, but I still recommend it. Three to that three and a half is like, three and a half might mean that I might continue on with the series depending on what it was, if it was a series, or I might recommend it to certain groups, but maybe there is a lot of things that just personally fell flat for me. Three stars itself, just flat out three, is like, it was just average, bump of the road, definitely not gonna reread it, may or may not recommend, it's just kind of one of those things, just depends. That three and a half really is like more so I'm gonna recommend than a three. Um, and then two stars, like, I, 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 I do not recommend. There were things that were like, absolutely not. <laughs> and then one star is like, no. 
<laughs> absolutely not not happening in this okay <laughs> So, uh, I don't know, that's just kind of like a basic, hey, this is kind of hot, right? So, for me, this is really sitting at that middle of the road, three, three and a half. Um, I'm interested enough to continue, though. Like, I, I'm, like everything's kind of picked up at the end, but I'm still not, like, Delia is just, like, annoying me right now. So, I can't, like, I'm just like, come on now, girl. I don't know. Okay, we'll just see how it ends. I'm, I'm, I'm interested enough to continue. I'm on 245. And it's like, you know, we're like 67%. So I just feel like this is too long. But it's still, I think it's still a good book to read for his, like a lot of people would probably like it for the historical side if you're really interested in that. But for those that are not really, find, or for those that find themselves getting bored from a lot of war detail, you're not going to probably enjoy this as well. Um, because there is a lot of that background. And I just like, I was listening to audio and I found myself tuning out. I was like, what they say? And I just keep going. <laughs> that was how I felt. So, yeah. And I did read the first chapter. I literally only just read that part of that vlog. I only read like one chapter. Like, it's told you. It's like, kind of like we said in our Q&A, it's hard for me to read in the car or like when I'm going somewhere because I'm just like distracted. But I did read the first chapter in Love and the Dream Come True. And y'all, if you know who this is following, like if you read book two and you know who this is following without saying, like we are literally like, I don't even want to say. Like, the first chapter is already real me in here. That's all I'm gonna say. Like, and I, I didn't even really love the guy we're following in here in the last book as much, but I am now. Like, I am more so now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I am going to root for him. I really want to see his story. I, I'm, I'm rooting for him in this, you know? And so, yeah, I can't wait, like, finish this I, I just it's I gotta find the time to sit down and read like when I gotta do that who knows um because right now I've been doing like cleaning the kitchen this morning and it's like 1 30 on Sunday so just trying to get things cleaned up and listening that's kind of what today is it's Sunday usually just trying to get ready for the week because it's gonna be a really busy week at work I've got a lot of things I gotta do this week and so trying to um you know whatever but it's already five minute clip honey what is this uh, <laughs> i'm probably gonna have some more coffee because you know coffee we like and yeah i will update y'all when i have something else yeah i'll look at peanut it ain't a vlog without pee hi this is my kid's backpack and he loves like these little bags they just love it don't they <laughs> Had to put peanut in here. Hey, buddy. Ooh, look at the stars. What are you doing, buddy? Daniel Tiger. You love Daniel Tiger. What do you got? You happy? Well, when your girl gets something on her mind, it happens. <laughs> so, I just been to tell y'all, your girl, get that out of the way. Two bookshelves is in the back, y'all. It's happening. Two bookshelves. Remember I showed y'all in one of my previous videos that book, not bookshelf, that my mind. What's it called? Honey. I got me a little more fresh. It might be a hit me me. <laughs> oh, absolutely not. The dresser. Y'all remember I had that dresser. And I said, your girl's running out of space. We're going to have to get this out of here. Well, this out. It's in the garage, honey. My mama wants it, so this is whole thing. So we just put it in the garage. The neighbor helped us. Thank you, Lord, for the neighbor, because that thing has a marble top. And we took the dresser, the drawers out. Y'all, it was still so heavy. Who even has big furniture like that anymore? My mama loves that stuff, but me, absolutely not. It's too big. So, um, but your girl, you know, she free up a whole row, <laughs> a wall. Sorry, not a row, a whole wall some bookshelves now and I went to Lowe's and I got two big white bookshelves I wanted black because you know I got the two black ones but 
we will see. My bookshelf collection is about 360, 75 books at this point. So we're gonna see what happens. If it don't match, that's okay. It does not have to match 100%, but your girl got rid of that, and so I have, that thing was 72 to three inches wide. So you can imagine, and it filled up that whole wall for the most part, give or take. So that wall's probably 75 inches. And these are just 24 inches um, wide a piece. So I feel like we're gonna have some good space and some space left over. So anyway, I will be showing some, uh, maybe some time lapse and be putting some bookshelves together. I don't know. It's gonna be kind of crazy in a small space. So if I can't get it, I'll at least, I'm at least going to uh, do a little time lapse, me putting books on the shelves whenever they're put together. So. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. It's Sunday afternoon, five o'clock. Your girl is gonna try to, I'm not gonna put stuff together, but we will see. I'll update y'all in a little bit. Okay, I look like a crazy girl, but you know, I took this painting off the wall. I think that I'm gonna do like one here in the corner and the other like next to each other so I can like film in the corner. How gorgeous is that gonna be, y'all? Your girl is fired up. Oh my goodness, I cannot. So, yes ma'am. Now, I am not, y'all need one know, I am not a good person to put stuff together. I'm not good at putting things together. So, we'll just have to see how this goes. So, um, but your girl's been spending at least I had some time lapse in there but I was I was struggling so finally got this bookshelf we finally got her clean that quit and it's kind of like I don't know this is really big in here we'll see kind of what happens but I'm happy with it peanut this is not for you oh my goodness peanut Y'all, this is the setup right now. I'm giving y'all behind the scenes. We got tons of books here on the floor. They're kind of everywhere. Got stacks upon stacks upon stacks. Your girl is about to get with it, okay? It's 11.30 on a Sunday night, and your girl's gotta work in the morning and gotta get up at like six. So, I don't know. I just wanted to show y'all where I'm at. I ain't finished. Things will probably move around, but for right now, they're, the shelves, they're, they're here. You know, they're here. And I'm happy with it. I've got my little Outlander shelf, and um, how cute are these, y'all? Um, then we got, I don't know about this. I'm not Gryffindor. I've just had this. My husband bought that a long time ago. I'm Ravenclaw, but it is what it is. That's cute. So, um, and then I kind of got these up here. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, as far as the gear thing, I don't know. I can always do, I'll do a bookshop tour at some point because I bought so many new books lately. But, um, yeah, obviously I've got some space here and here and everything. So, this will be the new filming setup, y'all. 
I'm so excited. I think this looks so much better than being in my closet. I got these at Lowe's. Like, I don't know. If, I think I told y'all that. I got these at Lowe's. They were $60 a piece. They are for fairly cheap material. I ain't gonna lie. You know, I think that even those Billy bookshelves, I think they're pretty cheap anyway, material-wise. Like, this is not... This is like... Part of, is it part of, it's some kind of fake wood, whatever. It's like the back part. And this was a lot of work for me. So I, I'm glad that this is, I'm glad I got it up. Um, your girl's got 350 books in her house. And, you know, this is most of them. And I'm happy with the setup. You know, and I even have space to like walk in and, you know, go into the bathroom over here. Like I don't, I'm not like cramped. And this will be a really nice, like, just a film. I need to get me a little chair, y'all. Maybe I can sit here, you know. Got a little rocking chair. Maybe we'll do that. I don't know. We'll see. But I hope y'all like this. This is just kind of where I'm at right now. I did have to keep this because I had so many books. Um, and I needed somewhere to, like, put the, what do you call it? The router. Y'all, I'm tired. <laughs> so, but, I mean, I managed to get all the bookshelves out of the closet. My clothes are going in there. You know we're good and my house look my bedroom looks chaotic so you know in the next in the next few days i'll get everything kind of cleared out and the way i want it but for right now this is uh what i got and hope y'all enjoyed like the time lapse <laughs> i feel like i filmed it forever and it wasn't even that long you know how that is so yeah this is where i'm at and just wanted to share that with you all and i'm looking forward to making more videos where the setup is just better <laughs> so anyway y'all i look crazy i'm gonna end this vlog because your girl is tired and i won't have time really to talk much about anything tomorrow and please ignore me <laughs> i look so crazy um hope y'all enjoyed this setup look at I mean, look at the background are we already look at this yes ma'am i'm here for this. this this is like a new vlog filming setup you know anyway i hope y'all enjoyed this video Leave your comments below what you think of the new setup. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, y'all.